What's going on guys, AD here and welcome to Motorsport Manager. This is the beginning of a new season, season five. If you didn't see the uh, season finale of season four, we had Thomas crashing in the Black Sea and Valdez went on to win uh, the, the race, placing in first and uh, becoming the world champion of the European Racing Series. So it was really amazing. And uh, we moved up into the Asia Pacific Cup. So we've got all kinds of new tracks to uh, work with here. And uh, we're going to have to uh, build our car up from the ground up again and see if we can get up into the World Motorsport Championship. So if you guys want to see more Motorsport Manager and more of this career mode, as we hopefully win the World Motorsport Champion at some po uh, Championship at some point, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. All right, so uh, in the last episode, at the end of the season, we decided to upgrade our factory to level 3. I think that was a good move. Um, we also got 10 million, so we've uh, got our balance up to 27 million. Now, I think the car is actually more expensive in the Asia Pacific Cup, so I think that's why they give you that 10 million bonus uh, when you move up. So uh, we're looking pretty good here as far as funds goes. I don't think we really need to do any of anything else with the HQ uh, for right now. I mean, we probably could do something with the design center. But honestly, I'm going to save the money. I'm going to save the money. We're going to do a decent car, not nothing too crazy on the chassis. But we're going to use as much money as possible and put it put it into our car parts. And that's really what we need to do here, I think. Um, however, one thing that we probably should do... I think the engine is a spec part this season. So maybe we should get the... Um, should we get the scouting facility at least? Or, no, it's not the scouting facility. Maybe the staff center. If we get the staff center, that might actually help our staff a little bit. It's only 7.5 million. Hmm. It helps your lead designer and race mechanics to improve their skills. Uh, it allows the drivers to better their fitness and focus. So that's actually important. Let's see, that's 7.5 million. How much do we want to put in the car? We're going to get money for the car as well. So we got that 10 million. You know, I don't know. Let's see. We're not going to do the test track. I'm not going to do the telemetry center because we can do epic gearboxes. That's pretty good. Um, new buildings. Here we go. Yeah, simulator. That's probably what we should do. Simulator and the handling development center. Get the suspension up. Yeah, because between that, that's only 9 million. That's not too bad. Get both of those going. Yeah, I really think we should. Because we can only make good suspensions. I don't think suspension is a spec part. Uh, it still says... Oh, yeah. Engine is, is spec. Front... Oh, it is a spec part. Rear wing, front wing, and engine are spec this season. Holy shit. Okay. So, suspension's important, and brakes. So, suspension and brakes, that's what we need to do for the HQ. Alright, so let's go new buildings. Um, where's suspension at? Here we go. Let's build this building. Five million. All right, so we'll get that going, and we're also going to build another building, and we're going to get the uh, R&D facility. That will allow us to get great breaks. All right. So we got a lot of construction going on now. I think we're going to save the rest of our money, though, because we're going, we're going to need it. Um, but that's good. We got three buildings under construction here this season. Um... So, that's pretty amazing. You don't need to do front wing. I'm not even going to worry about the forecasting center, honestly. We can do that a little bit later. Um, I would like to get the staff center, but I don't, I don't want to spend the money now. We've already built too many things, so that's it. It's all we're spending. Okay, so right now the chairman is uneasy, so we've got to do well here. We're probably going to do a conservative, um, as far as our target goes, for the first season. Just so we can get a handle on the tracks and everything. Um, and get that job security back up. Because we kind of milked the chairman for some money at the end of last season. And the other thing is, right now we uh, we gave Valdez an offer. We're going to keep Valdez on. I like him. He's a pretty good driver. The other thing is, I'm probably going to take 
I'm probably going to keep Thomas as well because the one really good thing about Thomas is she's got 78% marketability. She's got the chaser trait. So this applies when she's in second. She's a paid driver as well. So she's actually pretty good. She's got that paid driver trait. I mean, she's pretty amazing. And the other thing is that if we don't get somebody with over 70% marketability, we have to have a second driver with 70% marketability to have 90% overall marketability to get five-star sponsors. So if we get a driver that has 69% marketability, uh, we'll be at 89%, 89.9% marketability, something like that. So we got to have somebody with 90 or over 70%. And I can't find any drivers in here that... Um, are really worth it. This guy here, Hong, is pretty damn good. He's he's available and interested, but 65% marketability, so we're going to lose that five-star sponsor. And he's pretty, he's good. I mean, he's actually really good, but I don't know. I think five-star sponsors are really important to help us continue to upgrade everything. So I'm going to keep Thomas. We're going to make her an offer and keep her on board for a little bit. And she's not bad, actually. She's really not that bad at all. All right, so let's go ahead and renew her contract. She's interested. It will go medium. Well, she'd prefer a long contract, though. Uh, but I'm really thinking it will probably go medium, because we could probably get, it, get somebody else. And she's the number two driver, so we'll give her number two. She, we're paying her 170. Let's give her... Hell, we'll give her 150 this time. And let's see, qualifying bonus isn't important. But if she gets first, we'll give her 6,000. And if she gets first, we'll give her 6,000 on the race bonus. So overall, hopefully she takes that. Let's see what she says. Okay, we've got to unlock the car design, so let's go ahead and try that out. We're going to get 7 million. So that puts us up to 21. And yeah, it is more expensive here, so we're going to have to be careful. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, do we want to go... Wow, that's eight plus 18. That's really nice. But I'm thinking we'll probably just go plus 7. We'll go with the 7.8 million uh, engine. It's a little bit it's it's a little bit better on the base stat, but I don't think we can afford to go 12 million on the the engine itself. But we'll see. Let's see what happens here. Uh, fuel supplier. Um, hmm. Fuel efficiency, improvability. I think we'll just go we'll go very weak here um, on the fuel supplier. And let's see, material supplier. Wow. Do we want to just go 10 million? Should we just go very low of the low? I don't know. Maybe we should go 5 million. So we're not too crappy of a car. Because our last car was 8 million, but this is definitely going to be more expensive. Brake supplier. Uh, wow. I guess we can go, uh, I guess we should go 2.4 week and week, so we're two star, borderline two star, with tire wear and tire heating, because we don't want tire wear to be too crappy. So, yeah, let's just go week and week. So that's 16.2, that's actually pretty good. It's pretty cheap, uh, chassis. But we could also go 3.5 million and get the a little bit better fuel efficiency. But honestly, I think we should just go very weak here. Improvability is nice, but I think we'll just go with 1 million on the fuel supplier and 7.8 million on the engine. Because if we go zero, that's just going to be terrible. So yeah, let's go 7.8 there on the engine. And 5 million on the uh, material supplier. Yeah. 
Okay, that's not bad. Alright, so we're gonna go 16.2 million. Alright. Yeah, it's not bad. Two star overall. We've got five million to play around with. Okay, Valdez wants to renegotiate. Uh, let's see, he's not happy about the wages. What the hell? Alright, so we're gonna have to go... Oh, we're in a new series now, aren't we? Okay, let's go one up. 619. He's unhappy about the contract, so... Let's see, neutral about the qualifying bonus. Let's give him... Let's give him a bonus of 9,000, so that way he might be happy about that. But we want him for a long contract. I want him on board for a while. Alright, 619. Yeah, he's got to take that. Come on. Alright, send that back to him. We'll get one more chance, at least. Uh, Alright, Sarah wants to renegotiate. She's neutral about the number two driver status. She's not happy about the wages. Hmm. I guess we'll go 200,000 per race. Well, she'd prefer a long contract. Why don't we just give her a long contract, go 175,000 per race. And if we have to break it, we will. What the hell? All right, let's try that and see what she says. Damn it, Valdez wants to renegotiate again. Son of a gun. All right, I guess I have to pay him a lot more money. Because we're in the Asia Pacific Cup, I guess he wants more. So, shit, he'd prefer a short contract. There's no sign-on fee, though, because he's already signed on with us. So, that's good. I forgot about that. Alright, so we'll go short contract then. And, damn, I didn't think about that, but now I'm going to have to pay him probably more money than, he's wa than he wants. Um, wages are fairly important. Do we go 681? Alright, we'll go 681. We'll go short contract and see if he takes it. Alright. That's it. I'm not going higher than that. If we lose Valdez, we'll have to get somebody else, I guess. Alright, Thomas is accepted, but hold on. I want to see what Valdez f does first. She's unhappy at the cost per race. Wow. Is Valdez... Did he accept? Oh, wait, hold on. We got an issue here. Improvability plus one, 1. 1.5 million. Alright, yeah, let's do that. Get the improvability up, why not? I really want to know what Valdez is going to do. Oh, thank goodness, Valdez. Thank you very much, bro. Ugh. Oh, that was starting to worry me right there. Alright, so let's sign on Valdez here. And we'll sign on Thomas. All right, cool. So we got Thomas for forever, but that's okay. We can break our contract. It doesn't cost that much, really. Valdez, though, yeah, but there's no sign-on fee. That's the thing. So it doesn't matter if we go short contract anyway because we don't have to keep paying him a sign-on fee because he's already on our team. So really, it doesn't matter. And I forgot to see what he was if he was good at what he was getting or what. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Valdez is good. Alright, so Thomas has got a trait here. As I get older, I've slowly begun to realize something. Life's too short to be nice. I'm here to win, and I need every resource available. So she is a resource hog, and teammates will not improve as quickly. Oh, well, thank you for that, Sarah. Let's see. Tire trade-off here. Uh, let's see. Do we want to increase tire heating at the expense of tire wear? Uh, I don't think so. No way. Tire wear is more important than tire heating, in my opinion. Okay, we've got to design the livery. Let's go ahead and do this. 
I'm going to make some adjustments here and see what I come up with. All right, this is what I've come up with. Uh, I took somebody's suggestion and did some purple, green, and black. So I really like this design. This is really cool. Can you mix three colors together like that? Uh, so this is pretty nice. I like this purple and green. It's pretty neat. All right, so let's go with that design for this season. Oh, yeah. All right, so our improvability is three stars, so that's good. We've got another dilemma here. Break supplier breakthrough. Oh, tire heating plus one. All right. Let's do it. Tire heating plus one. That could be important. Valdez has taken up snowmobile racing. So his marketability is up. Adaptability plus one. That's good. Adaptability. And we are off into preseason testing now, so let's see how we do here. I'm not expecting us to do very well. Wow, Thomas is doing pretty well. I think she's got the better parts for some reason. Oh, Valdez, Valdez is doing pretty good. Into tent. Struggling with understeer. Well, 7th and 10th, though, that is actually really good. We did, we haven't done that well in preseason testing at all. All right, so Valdez was 10th, uh, Thomas was 7th. Oh, boy. All right, so based on our preseason testing, I have to say that anything above 6th would have been a success by the investors. All right, I'm thinking we need to go 8th here, 13 million up front because... Uh, I don't know. These are new tracks as well, and uh, I think we should probably go conservative for the first season just to get a hang of everything. We might even end up doing really be uh, better than, than everyone. I don't know. Let's go eighth. Let's go conservative. So we can see where we're at this season. We've got 14 million to work with, which isn't really a lot. But we got five-star sponsors, which are going to be coming through for us. So I think we'll be okay. We've got a lot more. We have got a lot more tracks, though. So this is... Uh, we are only losing 582,000 per race, so, so that's not bad. All right, we got to start improving the car here. Let's see. We got 11 days to Singapore. Okay, for some reason, the front wing and rear wing are not spec parts. I don't know what that screen was showing me then. Maybe it was like a combination of the last season and the new season, or like the last series and the new series. Like it was combining the European racing and the Asia Pacific, so... Wow, that kind of messed me up, because as we could have designed... We could have literally designed the simulator. Um, well, either way, we needed the suspension and brakes as well, so... Honestly, I don't think the rear... Front and rear wing are that important. I think suspension and brakes are going to be more important than that. Um, so anyway... Let's go ahead and uh, improve parts, first of all. Yeah, oh, we got so much to improve, too. Okay, let's start with the uh, gearbox and the suspension. Focus in on reliability. We got to get that factory up. When are we going to have that? Two weeks? Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. The factory takes 17 more weeks? Holy hell. That takes forever to upgrade. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah, just focus on that. And then for performance, I guess we'll go rear wing and front wing because we're probably not going to develop those at the moment. All right, focus in. Reliability. Here we go. Okay, well, this is we're going to have to pit in and fix a bunch of parts here. We got this up to everything up to around 50%, 47%, something like that. 
Let's just go ahead and make sure that everybody's on the right parts. We're gonna have to give Valdez the best parts. And I suspect that Thomas somehow got the better ones. Let's see. Um, well. Valdez is angry. There's nothing I can do about that right now. There's uh, We've given him the best parts possible. So, yeah. All right. That's all we can do here. Let's see, we did get something upgraded. Uh, either way. Um, Alright, let's see, as far as our headquarters go, we're third. So, factory, we're second. That's great. Because if we can get that factory up, we're going to be first. We're going to be getting our parts up and performance done a lot faster. And I probably should have started designing some parts, but... Yeah, we should probably get, get on that. So, we definitely want to start with a gearbox. I think that's probably important. Let's go with the gearbox here. Alright, that's going to take 11 days. Okay, job security is uneasy. We gotta do well here in Singapore. Let's see, tire wear is high. Fuel burn is very high here. Oh, man. Alright, let's see. Can we go 7th or above here? Or should we try to go 3rd or above? I think we should probably just go 7th or above. Let's just try that. All right, acceleration's crucial, deceleration crucial, low speed corners crucial. All right, after qualifying, we've got uh, Valdez here in 11th and uh, Thomas in 20th. So we got to get into the race now. We're going to utilize a 10% bonus on the super softs since it is sunny today. And um, let's see, we've got a good setup for both drivers. We're gonna go on the super soft tires, so let's see, seven to nine laps. So we definitely don't want to take full fuel because we'll be slow as hell. Let's see, seven to nine laps. Do we want to take ten laps of fuel only? Let's see, we go high engine. Uh, yeah, let's take ten laps of fuel. Same thing here, ten laps of fuel because we take that much, we're gonna be slow as hell. Look at that, one lap of full fuel equals uh, 0 0.156 seconds, so 10 laps of fuel is literally like a second per lap you lose. It's crazy. Alright. Uh, let's just start off with... Let's attack and go high engine for right now. I don't want to overtake. Let's just go high and attack. All right, we've got Vidal in first, Rick DeGraff in second, Sa in third, Navarro in fourth, and Fisher in fifth. All right, Thomas, you got some work to do. Valdez just kind of maintained position here. Ooh, getting backed up. Look at that traffic jam right there. All right. Ooh, Valdez moving in to 10th position. Well done. Nice, into 9th place. Well done, man. Keep that up. Setting a good pace. Oh, yeah. I think we took just enough fuel, really. Took a, the right amount. All right, let's keep it. Uh, let's go neutral. Yeah, go neutral here. Tires have heated up already. Okay, nice. Valdez passing Fisher into eighth position. Oh, and into seventh. Possibly battling Costa. Thomas moves into 16th. All right. 
Keep that up, Thomas. Gonna keep an eye on our parts. I don't think we're gonna be able to overtake too much. Just kind of stay high engine. Maybe medium, really. But we're gonna stay high engine for another lap, and then we'll go... What the hell, Thomas? Come on. Thomas's rear wing is out. Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, why don't you just pit in for one lap of fuel then? Fix that part. Go balance pit. And Thomas is no action taken. Okay, it wasn't Thomas's fault apparently. All right, get that rear wing fixed and get out here, Thomas. Let's go. Thomas has got clean air, so I think she can catch up, possibly, but man, that's going to hurt us. It's going to hurt us a little bit. Alright, let's drop into medium engine. Stay neutral here, uh, Valdez. Actually, let's go conserve, get that tire temp back down. Oh, Thomas. Yeah, you're going to have to stay... Ah, uh, go medium engine. And conserve the tires a little bit. Alright, Valdez is in seventh. Alright, well done. Let's get that seventh place. Thomas has got to catch up. She is literally... Oof, she's about 20 seconds behind Sylvander. All right, she's setting a good pace though. Just keep conserving. Conserve the tires, go medium. We'll just stay out as long as we can here. We'll tack a little bit later. Let's take a look at her lap time, let's see. Thomas's lap time was a 128. That's actually a lot better than uh, a lot of these people. Alright, let's go neutral medium here. Valdez, on the other hand, is in seventh and doing well. Decent pace. So, uh, let's see, a, a 130 lap time. Navarro is a 127. We got Vidal with a 126. That's pretty crazy. But let's just keep conserving here. Conserve the tires as much as we can. I think Thomas can afford to go neutral medium, though. She's into 17th place. She's catching up to Sylvander, I think. Yeah, she's making some time. Alright, let's have her conserve a little bit, get that temp back down. All right, let's go high engine here with uh, Valdez because we are got a little bit of uh, fuel. We're going to have to pit in pretty soon. And let's go neutral now. High and neutral, Valdez. Let's make up some time here. Our engine can handle it. It's all the other parts we have to worry about. Actually, conserve. Keep conserving. This one, this is a course you can't really push too hard. Let's go high engine, Thomas, for a little bit. Alright, we're going to have Valdez go one more because we got the fuel for it. He's going to be a little slow, but we're in seventh. We got to maintain this. All right, don't conserve anymore. Just attack with the... Uh, just go neutral on the tires. And we'll pit in Valdez now. We're going to pit him on another pair of super softs, honestly. Actually, no, let's put him on the soft tires. Let's go a longer stint here on the softs. Because we're only going to be able to go... Let's see, we can pit twice. Yeah. Let's go on the soft tires now. And these go for how many laps? Uh, 13... 
So yeah, let's just go 13 laps on the softs. And we're not going to fix any parts yet. Balance pit. All right, Thomas, let's go medium here. You can go maybe one more after this. Yeah, we're not going to be able to push her too hard anymore. Otherwise, we're going to have to get everything fixed. So just go medium here. Medium neutral all the way. All right, come on, Valdez. Oh, we got a mistake. Oh, 7.3 second mistake. Damn. All right, medium neutral. All right, let's have Thomas go high engine and just pit in. Just uh, neutral in. And, yeah, we're going to put her on the soft tires now and go about 13 laps with her balance pit. All right, come on, Valdez. Let's see how far away we uh Let's see, 49 seconds behind the leader here. They have not pitted yet. They are literally... Strombi is able to maintain those tires for eternity, it, it seems like. All right, we're into 15th. Let's see, Thomas is coming out now. Let's go medium here. Medium neutral. We really can't afford to fix any parts, honestly. Let's take a look at Valdez's pace. Let's see, he had a uh, 128. That's pretty good. We got some track grip as well. Valdez is in 14th. Let's take a look here. 27 seconds behind the leader. And yeah, it doesn't look like we're catching up to the leader at all. All right, let's conserve the tires. Uh, stay neutral, Thomas, for now. All right, just got to keep this up. Valdez is into 12th. It's going to be the long game on this track. Whoever just stays out and... Whoever doesn't have to fix all their parts is probably going to win this race. So just stay neutral here. Stay conserving. See what happens. All right. We've got Zarate in the pit and uh, Hovi. So that's going to put Valdez into 10th now. And Thomas into 13th. Okay. Good job. Let's keep this up. 10th and 13th. I would be happy with that if we won, if we got that. Oh, wait. Okay, rear wings don't look good here for, for Thomas. And we got the brakes as well for uh, Valdez. He's, he's now into 7th, though. All right, yeah, just conserve the tires because, honestly, we can't push too hard. But keep it up. We can stay out for a while yet. Valdez now into sixth position. We are now catch. We are catching up. Thirty seconds behind the leader now. And Thomas is in ninth. So this is really good here. Come on, just keep this up. We might have taken a little bit too much fuel. But, I don't know. I think we have enough, actually. Let's keep going. Alright, Valdez had a uh, 129. Thomas had a 130. That's actually pretty good. But, we got a lot of people that are a lot faster. Look at Cavalcanti, the 126. But, he was pushing hard with the tires. All right, 16 laps remaining. We might even be able to just go out on the softs again, but I don't know. I think we're going to have to pit in and fix some parts here for some of the drivers. Um, thing is, is what are we going to fix? 
Maybe the front wing, yeah, I don't know. Fifteen laps remaining. We're gonna have to get everything fixed, it looks like. All right, keep going, Valdez, keep going. We don't have to worry about the engine. Or the gearbox, probably, hopefully. Seventh, it, uh, let's see, Gomez has an issue. Fisher doesn't have any problems. Navarro has some issues. Let's take a look at Saw. Vidal has problems. Wow. Alright. Come on, keep going, Thomas. You're into 11th now. Let's see, Thomas had a uh, 130. Yeah, that's good. I don't want to go high engine, uh, unfortunately. I wish I could, but... Maybe go neutral. All right, ignore that, Valdez. You're in fifth now. We're going to have to pitch you in soon, though. Yeah, we should probably just pitch you in now uh, after this lap. So, yeah, just go neutral. And we got 13 laps remaining. We better go on the super softs because, honestly, I think... Yeah, let's just do... What's, what's the park condition? Yeah, the brakes are going to go out. Maybe we should fix the brakes right here. Fix both of these things. Oh, God. 27 seconds. Oh, the gearbox, too. Twenty-seven seconds, but we can go seven laps of fuel, maybe. And just pit in again. What do we do with the soft tires? Those go 13, though. He's going to be pretty slow at the end. Hmm. Yeah, we better put him on the super softs and just go a fast stint. So just go seven laps of fuel, maybe. We can push the car, then, once we fix all those. Yeah, maybe not, though. So just go medium. All right, let's fix all of that. And just go seven laps of fuel. Oh, man. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we could go with soft tires, but... Honestly, I don't think they'll last long enough. Thomas has got issues as well. Let's see. How much of a gap do we have between... Thomas and and um, Valdez. Not not big enough of a gap. All right, so Thomas has got to go one more because it's going to take forever to fix all this with Valdez. All right, Thomas is now going to pit in. For a pair of softs. She's going to go soft tires because there's only 11 laps left. And we'll just go 12 laps of fuel. Because we're not going to probably push her too hard. we got to get that fixed. we got to fix the brakes. And probably the, the rear wing. Because, yeah, fix the rear wing. Balance pit. All right, go for it. All right, Valdez is out. Everything looks good. Just go medium neutral here. And try to be fast. We lost a lot of freaking time there, but we should be gaining it because I think everybody else is going to be hurting too. We already got two people uh, retiring, so we can't afford that either. Valdez is going to set some really good pace here. So we'll see what he can do. All right, come on, Thomas. All right, good job, Thomas. Just get out here. Medium neutral all the way. In the 14th. Gearbox should sh Gearbox should last, I think. 
Uh, yeah, just stay neutral here, to, uh, Valdez. Just make this a quick one. Gearbox at 19%. Ugh. All right, keep going, man. This is why I put him on the super softs. I knew it. Valdez now into fifth. Holy crap. Okay, keep going, man. Gearbox at 20% for Sarah. Oh, no. All right, ignore that for now, Sarah. All right, just keep going neutral then, medium neutral. We're not going to last. We have to pit. But I want to keep going a little bit longer with Valdez if we can. Maybe one more. If we can afford to go one more here, that would be great. Because we are in fourth, literally right behind third. All right, we're, third is pitting, so let's pit now. Seven laps remaining. Let's go super softs. We're going to go eight laps of fuel only. Fix the gearbox. Balance pit. All right, go. And Thomas is going to have to go one more here. We took too much fuel, but we shouldn't have to fill up on fuel, actually. So this is fine. She's going to pit in now for super softs. She'll be a little bit faster at the end. We're going to drain some of her fuel. And just go seven laps. Fix the gearbox. Balance pit. Alright, come on. Get in there, Valdez. Come on, we are in f we are in fifth now. Come on. Into sixth. Alright, into sixth. Good. Go neutral. Come on, Thomas. Thomas is in tenth, eleventh. 12th. Come on, get that fixed. Go, go, go. Oh, mistake. Come on. Oh, my God. 11.6 second mistake. Jesus. What a way to kick you when you're down right there. That's some bullshit. All right, Thomas into 13th. I don't know if she's going to be able to catch up now. That really uh, cost us. Costa has retired, though. Or uh, Navarro has retired. We got, oh, we got Cavalcanti in the pit. Ooh, we might be able to make that up. Come on, Thomas. Go, go, go. Thomas is in 10th. All right, what part is breaking down now? We got... Just keep going neutral here. We need this. We need some points. All right, Costa, let's see, are we going to catch him? I don't know. Probably not. Anybody having issues? I think everybody repaired. Ah, oh, damn. All right, so it might be a 10th place finish for Thomas. We'll see. Let's see, Valdez is in fifth, though. How close is he to Shaw? Shaw isn't too far ahead. Got three laps to go here. Might be able to afford to attack a little bit later. Uh, let's go. Let's conserve the tires just a little bit uh, until the end so we can kind of attack and overtake a little. Because we got two laps to go yet. Let's see, we're on lap 31. Did we get lapped? We haven't gotten lapped yet. Thomas has gotten lapped, so literally she's got, I think, one more lap after this. So she better just stay neutral. She better just go high engine, high and neutral. I think she can make it. All right, Valdez, let's see. Lap clarity one. We got two laps to go. One more after this. One more lap. We are in fourth. We're, we're shot. 
Shaw's in third. Okay. All right, Valdez. Overtake, baby. Let's go. Overtake and attack. Or, no, overtake and neutral for now. And Thomas, can you hit ninth? Where's ninth? Costa. Oh, you're never going to catch him. But overtake anyway. All right, Valdez, let's go. Into fourth, let's go. Third place, come on. Let's get podium. I don't think we're going to make it, though. Shaw is... He's got some problems. Ah, oh, almost. We were catching up. Into fourth. Okay. Thomas, what the... Final lap for Thomas. Oh, Jesus. I definitely miscalculated that. Wow. Okay, she ended up in 10th. Doesn't matter if she runs out of fuel. Th uh, Valdez in 4th. Good job, man. Alright, Thomas into 10th. Well done. All right, fourth and tenth. That's not bad for the first race. All right, so Valdez got us three points only. Oh, no points. Oh, it's only points for the top uh, seven or top six. The points for the top six. Oh, geez. Wow. Well, that's even more hardcore. Wow, that's actually going to hurt us really bad because Thomas is never going to place well under she's never gonna play sixth wow so we are currently fifth as far as teams go okay well we got points all right overall we came fifth so happiness should be up from the chairman thankfully we need to get that up higher up 24 percent thank goodness Valdez's stats are going up really well here, and uh, morale is up, so that's good overall. Negative 343,000, um, so that's not bad. That's not going to hurt us too much. But it is really up to Valdez here this season. Um, we're going to have a lot of work cut out for us here. We've got Beijing coming up next, and I don't have a good track record in Beijing. Um, it's a really tough track, but we'll see how we do in the next episode. If you guys want to see more Motorsport Manager and more of this career mode, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. I'll see you guys again next time. Take care.